their expertise with us. My name is Dr. Dan, and I'm your host for today's seminar. I have a doctorate degree in organizational leadership and communication with a minor in quantum physics. I also participate and I have a practicing therapist covering issues such as self-esteem, weight and anger management, and also do marital and relationship counseling. If you go back, and uh, because you just mentioned yep. the tobacco companies, Philip Johnson, which yep. is the largest producer, um, now when you look at the cigarettes, the pack, you see in big bold, it will cause cancer. Yep. Do you think that 10, 15 years from now, Bob, pharmaceutical company are gonna put also in the, in the bottle be careful, that's going to create addiction, that's going to create this, this, and this. I called my contacts here in the United States and told her that I was coming. Even before you received the notification that you had the visa approved? Yes. Wow, okay. Yes. My mission is to continue providing great, valuable content to my audience, the viewers at home, and of course, invite the best of the best guest panelists in the DMV area. But our doctors, psychiatrists are willing to be able to do that extra step versus just, oh, here's a prescription because in the back of their mind, I know I'm gonna get some money out of it. So, so was there a big culture shock when you came to the US? Yes, there was a... a <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Thank you so much for being here and thank you all for being here. This is like just such a great panelist with different expertise. So I think we're gonna have a great, great time. For you, Maureen, when you dealt with people who've gone through relapse, mm -hmm. um, usually this period of time, how do you uh, cater to their needs or how do you help them go back to recovery because it's kind of like for them is it more of a physical or mental failure that they've gone through this uh, process wow mm -hmm. that, that's a lot of faith of course and yeah. but during the times that you were going through the challenges and the hurdles did you feel that god was not there did you feel that there was something where he he didn't see you around he didn't really pay attention to your prayers okay yeah. and the height that they're seeking are they seeking more positive acknowledgement to say hey you did a good job but then when they relapse, is it a bigger fall for them? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If everything yes. was great in Togo, you would stay there. Uh, yeah, I would so just So maybe you stay, were meant yeah. to come to the United States of America, and this is obviously the land of opportunities, yeah. where we have like, I think what, a big percentage of people move from different countries to be able to reach their dreams here. Exactly. And I guess you did the same as well. And if it was in, look, you said that your visa was very challenging to get, but mm -hmm. yet it was approved. Yeah, yes. Go figure. It's, so it's, uh, everything is all the puzzle come together. And this is what, uh, what happened. Yeah. So going back to the culture shock, how was the difference between the lifestyle in Togo and the lifestyle here in America? Yes, so when I got 